and boom, we have our parsley, chopped parsley, not a whole leaf in sight. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering what this uh, noise is in the background, I am watching The Cult of Chucky. I'm a big horror fan, and I love Chucky. I've watched all seven Child's Play movies, and I would have to say The Curse of Chucky and The Cult of Chucky are definitely my top two favorite films. Alrighty, so now we are going to boil our pasta. So I have some hot boiling water here, and then I have a double compartment pot here. So I have the pot that's holding the water, and then I also have the strainer here. Love these so much. It's a pot I brought here back in 2015. But, um, so first things first is we're going to add some oil. So this is to prevent our pasta from sticking to, to the pot and stuff. And we're going to flavor our pasta a little bit, add a little bit of salt in there. And then we're gonna add about a pound of fettuccine alfredo here. So that's gonna go right in there. And yep, and then there's no need to really do much to it until it starts to boil down. Then I will use my tongs to toss it. All right, so as you see, our pasta is starting to just boil down a bit. So we have to get it all nice and soft. We really want the, our, um, it should take about eight to nine minutes to cook. You know, al dente. Or it's not, it's soft, but not, but you still get a little bite. That's what al dente is in Italian. And I know, yeah, so that that cooked down. See, I didn't have to put any sort of lid on it for it to simmer. I just left it alone and just let nature just do its course, you know? All right, so about nine minutes has passed. And then, oh yes, this fettuccine is definitely ready. Looks really good too. Just the pasta by itself just looks really good. So now we are going to drain our pasta. Look how beautiful that looks. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are going to start my favorite part. We are going to start the Alfredo sauce. Okay, so we have a few ingredients here. Not really much. So this is gonna be our olive oil. We're gonna use about a couple tablespoons of this. And then we are going to use the garlic we chopped earlier. All right, and we're gonna use about three quarter cups of diced butter. Then we have the Parmesan cheese that I grated. And then we have about two cups here of heavy cream. And it has to be heavy cream, people, I'm sorry. Um, most ask if they can use milk. I mean, you can definitely use milk or half and half if you want to. Um, say if you want a lighter recipe, because heavy cream, it is very fattening. This is in no way, any shape or form, supposed to be a low calorie, low fat dish. But the heavy cream is what really gives the Alfredo it's, you know, thickness and that rich, creamy texture. If you use milk or half and half, I mean, it's not gonna have that same type of texture. You can definitely you make a roux though, just like how you would mac and cheese though. All right, so this is our saucepan here. All right, so first things first, we are going to add our olive oil. Now, the reason why we add olive oil, because you're probably thinking, gee, why so much fat? What I figured out is that olive oil actually gives the Alfredo that extra thickness that you don't usually get if you just were to add the butter, cream, and um, Parmesan cheese. Now you can always add extra Parmesan cheese to give it thickness, but I really like how the olive oil does give it an extra creamy texture. I discovered this a little over a year ago when I was cooking this for my ex and myself before I had went into the hospital for surgery. And ever since then, I just started using this. But yes, I have our heat on the middle of between medium and high heat. Medium to high, that's what we're gonna call it. And then I have our garlic here. So we're gonna add the garlic. Try to get in here. Alrighty. And then we really don't want to burn this garlic. We just want it to be a little transparent, translucent. I mean, if you, let's just, I mean, God forbid you burn this. If you burn this, you're going to have to start all over, trust me, because the Alfredo is going to be way too strong, too overpowering. You're just gonna give it that burnt taste. And that's not what's we want now, do we? 